What's up, everybody? This is Chuckets with Simply Vegas, bringing you another property tour. If you're just tuning into this channel for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you already hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification button. So today, we are actually here in the Summerlin area. We are far, far northwest of Summerlin. This is still in the mass plan community of Summerlin. We are taking a look at a product by Pulte and their master plan community is called Reverence. This is actually their flagship community. So this home that we're looking at today is La Vista. La Vista is 2,595 square feet. And it starts off at $455,888. I mean, $880. That's just the starting price now. Let's take a look at this. This is a nice lot too. Now this neighborhood will not give you access to the clubhouse. The HOAs for this neighborhood is $51. Master for the Summerlin area, $48. But this is actually a nice home. Look at them stairs right there. Is that wood or is this iron? Oh, this costs money right here. That is not cheap. All right. Let's start back off over here. So this one, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, two car garage, let's see what we have. So this is your den, office. Love the fact that they uh, did the barn doors there, which is really nice. That's an eight foot door, nine foot ceilings. This room's only a good, probably 10 by 12. It's not that big of a room, but Big enough for an office. Love the staircase. Really brings it open. The standard would actually be a staircase that comes down and you would actually have a coat closet right here. But you see how much more it opens it up? Here's your front door, which is really nice. And take a look at this. Look how the windows are. Those are like 12 foot windows, look at that. Super modern, right? This is more of a contemporary type of home. So off to the left here, this is actually a two car garage, we can't come in here. However, I would probably turn this into like a valet or put some cabinets, you know. This is where you put your shoes in, your mud room, I guess. Let me know if that would actually be a good idea. So you have your dining, okay. Dining is cool. Love the dining. Very interesting with the dining. Love it. Okay. So this is actually an extra upgrade right here if you were gonna do this. Nice fireplace, kinda cool. Here's your backyard, but this lot, you're definitely gonna pay a premium here. Look at the windows on that thing, huh? Look at the fireplace. There you go. There you go, get some more light into it. Coming back into the home. They got about 600 and I think like 655 homes in this mass plan community. Oh, they definitely did a lot of upgrades to this. You got your three inch waterfall. Look at those big windows, man. Love it.
You got your tray ceilings, one inch drop. Orange peel texture, five inch straight edge baseboards. You got your 12 by 24 inch porcelain tile. However, it has not been sealed. So you can see how dirty it is. But a lot of builders will not seal it. This is a nice waterfall here. Look at the cabinets. Ooh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm sure these are all soft shuts. These are metal cabinet cabinets. These ones are a little bit flimsy. There are some metal cabinets on the high-end homes that I've seen that I'm actually pretty happy with. Nice little faucet, stainless steel. Ooh, I love this though, look at this. These are all for pots. Cabinets for pots. Love this style. See how much big of a difference by putting lights underneath the cabinets? You got your five burner. I mean, if you got a pasta pot here, why not? We'll have one of those spigots for the pasta, right? KitchenAid, you got your microwave. Oh, I'm sorry, microwave, conventional uh, microwave, and also your oven. That looks like a 36 inch stainless steel refrigerator. Love the cabinets. Look at that, even have uppers too. Really nice. There was a name for this drop, drop. I forget the uh, name of it. That's like, I think 300 or 450 bucks here. I forget the name of it. But I mean, look at that. Love how clean these lines are. Love that. Something happened to the bottom of that refrigerator. It's missing its panel. what you call your planning center. Okay. This would actually be your pantry. That's a good uh, five by six. It's a little bit cold to be taking you guys outside, but I'm gonna do it just for you guys. I believe this is a upgrade right here. Whoa! It's good 12 by 12 or maybe even bigger. Let's come over here. Hopefully this wind thing is actually working. This cat's tail. Look at that clubhouse right there. Look at the mountain views, huh? Sick. Turn you guys around. Look how big this lot is. Look at this home. Beautiful home. Fully landscaped, low maintenance. But the yard is so big, you still gotta do work to it. So definitely need a landscaper. Lennox AC unit. Not too sure how many tons that is, but I'm sure it's enough to supply the house. Remember, every four tons, I'm sorry, every ton covers 400 square feet. That was the rule of thumb when I used to be in the business as an AC technician. So if this one is 24, you need what? One, two, three, four, five, at least six tons.
But what's crazy is that this one actually only has one AC unit, right? You better make sure there's dampers. And what dampers will do is adjust the airflow from the second floor and also from the first floor. Cool fire pit, that's for sure. I'm going inside, it's just way too cold. My ears are hurting, that's how you know it's cold. The temperature is not cold, it's just the wind. That wind chill. Oh, much warmer in here. I love these stairs. Oh, we didn't look at this half bath. You got your powder? Right next to it is your coat closet. All right, let's go up this floating staircase. Does it feel like you guys are floating right now? Hmm. So you got a little loft area. This loft area is not that huge. Yeah, this is kind of cool. See how I got sidetracked? I'll say this is probably 12 by 15. It's not that big of a loft. That's why you see a lot of um, furniture here. Look how small the furniture is. Got your 12 foot slider. Oh, I like the fact that's gotta be the master bedroom. That door right there. It's cool. This outside living area right here is actually bigger than the, the uh, master. I definitely would actually have a hammock out here. That'd be kind of cool. There's your strip. Better view of the clubhouse. This is probably a 20 by 20, so it's a really, really decent size. Woo! I think the best feature about this home is the floating staircase and these windows right here. You got eight foot ceilings, well actually nine foot ceilings, eight foot doors. Electrical components. Should we go left? All right. We'll start off in the master. So we're going all the way down. Ooh, check this out. I'm looking at the carpet as I walk in. You see that right there? That carpet needs to be re-pulled. There, there's the seam right there. Believe it or not, you actually have a warranty on your carpets too, depending on the builder. I love how they designed this uh, room. It's um, kind of gives you that Victorian, you know, feeling. It's not my style, but I do like it. There's that door to take you out. You also have your one inch drop, tray ceilings, recessed lighting. Coming down here to the left is your closet for the hubby. Coming into the master bath. I love the floating vanity with the lights. Cool sink. See how big my jacket is? So here's a closet for the wifey right here. Is this big enough? 
Let me know in the comments below if you think this is big enough. This is only good probably 12 by 6. Love the shower though. Shower has a six inch step up. We got a herringbone tile. Love the bench. Love the light. It's coming through the window. It's cool. Then show you guys the toilet. Toilet, nothing spectacular about that. Toilet's a toilet. But again, beautiful shower. Beautiful shower. You got your rainfall. And go to the left here. Here's the bath for his and hers. For bedroom one and two son and daughter. I love that little bench though. You do have a tub shower combo. I definitely would have a light fixture right there too as well. A lot of people comment, why is there no tubs in Vegas? Remember when you build a home, you'll have the option if you want to add tub. Ooh, now it's getting a little bit hot. This is a queen size bed. This room is probably 12 by 12, which is a decent size. Eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings. You got your recessed lighting, six panel slider doors. And your closet. This is a good, ooh, three by eight. Big, bigger than industry standards. Coming into the last bedroom. Bedroom is about the same size. So is the closet. Oh, we didn't even look in here. Storage. Oh. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this channel. I'm Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day. Did you like that property tour? For more properties just like this, click here or click here.